Well, hello there. Thanks for joining us here at Coolest Life. My name is Tony, and I'm here at Tropic Winds. And it be windy. <laughs> right here in, uh, uh, this is actually part of Harlingen, Texas, which is just north of Brownsville. Um, this is an encore park, part of Thousand Trail System. And uh, it's a little windy here. But maybe it is why they call it Tropic Winds. Doubtful, but anyway. Um, this is a really nice park here. I like it. In fact, I just found a, a map. So I just went into uh, this, this hall here, nice big hall, and I'm going to take you through some of the other parts of it and show you some of the sites and what you can expect if you decide to stay here. So come join us, because you just entered the coolest life. Tropic Winds Edition, or RV Edition. And they do have an area here for mailboxes. This is just off the main office. They've got a room here to the left, which is their activities room. And this one here, they actually have um, uh, a craft sale going on in here. So that's what they do in offices like that. And here's their main business office here inside this building. And here is the pool area. Not a very big pool, but it is a pool. We'll go inside and see if there's a hot tub. Oh, I see a hot tub over there. So there is about a six person hot tub, maybe seven. Uh, got showers right there to the side. That's a little pavilion type area. And that goes into the main activities room we were just in. And they've got a guy out here cooking. He's cooking some sandwiches and stuff that they're selling inside at the concession area. Everything's very well maintained. I like the way they edge the yard. Can. Let's go to these other buildings over here. This is bocce ball court. You got two of them, hmm, different lengths. Interesting. Normally they're the same length, but nice little bocce ball course. If you play bocce ball, you throw a ball out, and then you, then you, a small ball, and then you got to play in teams. Normally have two, and you try and get a uh, uh, one close to the the original one that got thrown. And this is the newly renovated pickleball courts. Very nice, very nice. It is outside. They do try to put these these wind resistor things here. It really cuts down a lot of the wind, so you don't get nearly as much wind on them. So for outside court, it's really one of the nice ones I've seen. These you put the ball in here, and it, it slides down, so you can pick up the next one if you don't want to chase one. <laughs> so come here, come here. Oh no, I'm trying. Now it doesn't want to come back. Okay, here we go. But they have two of these, so four total. I'll tell you what, court you have to get a little pavilion on me just outside the fence. There's also a RC track here I'm gonna show you in just a minute. And this one here's got a library in it, just a small room here. And there's some ladies who are doing some arts and crafts stuff. Got puzzles in the corner, restrooms. But I like the, uh, the setup here. So I wanna show you why I like the setup is uh, grassy areas. Nice open grassy areas, well maintained. So all the buildings aren't jammed together. Lot. Let's go in that building down there. And this building here is actually called Veterans Hall. Got two pool tables, table tennis, also known as ping pong, and they've got a nice exercise room. Good size, newer equipment, free weights, some machines. I wish we had one of these at my park. Nice setup. And these are the shuffleboard courts. Looks like they're in really good condition and being used currently. I'll take out a five. Here's nice and smooth. It's really good when they refinish these. It makes it more competitive because it takes out the cracks and everything. Just a little bit of a crack in this one here, but nah. A little bit of cracks not going to bother anything. There's not any big bumps and it's nice and level, so that's the main thing. And here are the horseshoes, which is uh, that little area over there is the uh, shuffleboard so right here right next to it is horseshoes but they're not really jammed together which I, I really like that can't say enough about that it just makes a difference when you're out here and here's their uh, RC track so you can bring your RC car in here and race each other they probably have tournaments and all that sort of thing you got the zigzag or just the big old just like the last part we were just at well this is one of their RV sites it's got a nice big pad here I think this is more for parking your car and they kind of want you to, I believe they want you to park your RV here in the grass. 
Let's see what kind of hookups they have here. My guess is this being South Florida uh, Encore Park is probably 50 amp. And it is. So they got 50, 30, and of course, your standard 110. I don't know why they put 110 in those. I don't see many people in parks that uh, pull into these places that need just 110. Uh, and also, you got a cable here, also. So my guess is they have cable service available which I love. I wish more parks would do that. Whether you pay for yourself or it's free, at least you have the option like it. There are several cabin models that they have here. These are the ones that would be for rent. Pretty much cookie cutter looking uh, tiny houses is what they are, which would be anything under 40 feet. And these look like they're maybe 32. And right across from them are larger mobile homes is what they are here in the park. Again, some of the advantages of being in a place like this to, to buy a spot. Yeah, you do have a lease. You cannot own the property it sits on. You can own everything that's on top of it. But you get all the amenities. The amenities are taken care of. It's part of your lease. Uh, so it's always good. And this is actually a walking park or a sitting park. Uh, they don't want any uh, golf carts or any pets in this area. They do have a, uh, back there in that corner, they've got a, uh, a dog park back there. That's kind of neat. Got a lot more... Um, RV parking here uh, compared to some of the other parks I've seen. They, they definitely have some, some full timers here in mobile homes, but uh, there, there's a lot of RV parking here, ample. So here's a great example of what you would you'd park on the side in the grass. And actually, you've got this pad here for, well, your picnic table or whatever you, chairs you want to put out here. Uh, so I like that setup. It's not bad at all. I don't mind parking on the grass. Other places uh, have the, your parking right here on the side so they've got some rock area there you can see your hook up right there behind you so i like the extra space they don't have the other park for putting his mo his uh, his unit here <laughs> he's over there so you've got you've got some grassy area i like that spacing so that direction you can see they're little we're getting close to season so they should be getting more and more people in here uh, but you can see some of the other RVs that are here and how they're kind of spaced out i like that they're not all jammed together so not a lot of pull-throughs, but the, the back ends, they still have a lot of trees next to the road. The trees seem to be set off toward the back of the, uh, the site instead of at the front of the site. The front of the site, and you tend to have a problem backing in and out if you have what happened there. So along this backside, they've got storage. Uh, so if you wanted to store your RV at this park, you would pay so much money. You know, they don't want you spending the night in it or anything like that. But if you just wanted to store it and get it off your property, you could do that here also. I like that. Also, uh, if you have a trailer, you get to dolly your, your RV in or your car in behind your RV. You can park your dolly back here so it's not up underneath the back of your rig or anything. So I like having that extra space. So if you're ever in the Harlingen area and you're looking for a park, maybe you want pick Tropic Winds. Because what they lack in um, signage out front, I don't even see one that says Tropic Winds, that this is even the right place. Maybe it's out there next to the main road or something. I, I don't know. If there is, I get a picture of it. But uh, what they lack in that, they, they make up for in other amenities that they've got going on here at this park, as you can tell. Uh, they've got not a ton of them, so they don't have 20 shuffleboard courts, but they've got five. So, you know, they, they've got a lot going on here. Uh, I really like some of the things, the way, the way the park is set up. You've got more room between uh, from space to space than a lot of parks. Uh, I like the fact that the, that the trees are off from the road, so that when you're trying to back in or something, you're not having to deal with trees. I love that. So, a lot of good things about this. Um, activities room looked look very clean. They had activities going on. And of course, they're going to have uh, performers coming in certain days of the week and lots of other things going on. So, if you're interested in coming to a park, I'd recommend Tropic Winds. I really like it. In fact, next time I come into town, I just may stay at this park, mainly because they got pickleball. <laughs> and it's fenced in. I don't have to chase the ball, and they got the wind blockers. So, that makes for a pretty good combination. Hey, be sure to like, subscribe. And if you're interested in coming to this park, come on down to this park. Uh, uh, and uh, check out the other videos we have at RV Park Reviews. I'm going to let you go because I'm out here living the coolest life. RV Park Review Edition.